the bull market's back, and I'm on the hunt for the best crypto sector. Today, we're analyzing the privacy coin sector, which is an OG crypto sector that I used to love. But regardless of how I feel about it, I'll share some pros and cons, I'll rank it against all the other sectors out there, and I'll share some potential projects that you could invest in. So let's get started with the pros, aka the case for privacy projects. The first pro is that privacy coins are a downright necessity for many people around the world. I mean, you and I may live a privileged life in a first world country and never really see the need for privacy coins, but there are other people who live in dire economic conditions, like in countries with high inflation. Just look at Egypt. Crypto is prohibited there, but inflation came in at a whopping 35% last year. Then there's places like Venezuela and Zimbabwe, where they have inflation in the thousands of percent per year, aka hyperinflation. In those countries, citizens need cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in order to protect their purchasing power. However, their governments usually impose something called capital controls, which means that their citizens are prohibited from exchanging their local currency for other ones. Unfortunately, those capital controls often include the biggest cryptocurrencies out there, like BTC, ETH, or stablecoins. So if you get caught with those, then you may be in trouble. However, it's much harder for them to catch you with privacy coins, so those become the go-to way to properly protect your purchasing power. But besides fighting inflation, there's another really strong use case here, and that's to escape oppression. There are people around the world that are being targeted by authoritarian governments that don't respect human rights. Maybe it's their ethnicity, their religion, or their politics. But whatever the reason, the finances of activists or just everyday people could come under attack and even be seized. So those people absolutely need financial privacy. It's a matter of their survival. And what better way to guarantee that than with privacy coins, right? I mean, I can't think of a better way. But also, here's the thing. All these benefits of privacy coins are not just theoretical. We actually see this adoption and growth in the stats. And that's my second pro for the sector. Check this out. Monero, the OG coin of the sector, doubled its transactions from 2019 to 2020 and then doubled it again from 2020 to 2021. Even in the bear market of 2022, demand for Monero held steady and transactions did not decline. As for Zcash, the second most popular privacy coin, it was able to hit 30,000 daily transactions for a period in 2022, putting its usage right up there with Monero's. So if this isn't proof of real world demand, then I don't know what is. And that's a strong reason to be bullish as most crypto sectors do not have such demand that you can point to. Now, so far we've only been talking about the past and the present, but what's really exciting is the future of the sector because privacy projects have a unique opportunity in front of them that only they can seize. The opportunity is to serve the everyday businesses that decide to integrate with crypto or Web3. Think about it this way. Regular businesses cannot afford to put their accounting on the blockchain for everyone to see, right? That would give their competitors an advantage over them. Plus, it would put their customer data all out there, which is against the law in many places around the world. But we all know that there's advantages for businesses to use crypto, such as seamless worldwide payments or loyalty rewards with NFTs. So this is where privacy solutions can come in to bridge the gap. Polygon has made their Nightfall solution specifically for this use case. And then there's also Aztec Network, which calls itself, quote, the end game for blockchain privacy. So my point is, there's a lot of quality privacy options to choose from, and it's not far-fetched to envision a future where regular businesses become more comfortable transacting on-chain due to these solutions. Now, that actually leads me to my fourth pro for this sector, which is the fact that privacy projects unlock the full potential of DeFi. Up to this point, DeFi has done some great things, but it's really been hamstrung by its lack of privacy features, which has held it back from true mass adoption. For example, hedge funds really care about their privacy. They don't want everyone copying their proprietary trading strategies, nor do they want for their trades to be front run. So those are legit concerns, but with proper privacy tools, they can prevent all those things from happening. One great project that does this is called Railgun, and they do so with state-of-the-art zero-knowledge technology. Their advanced encryption allows users to shield tokens and DeFi transactions on the Ethereum network without ever having to bridge to another chain or use some separate privacy token. So 
this is the sort of tool that the institutions have been waiting for. And if they jump into DeFi because of this, then it would bring massive amounts of capital into the space. And you could imagine that at least some of it will flow into these privacy projects. Anyways, I bet you are super bullish after hearing all those pros. But before we get to my thought provoking cons, I want to share with you our very own Coinsider tokenomics rubric. We probably spent like a hundred hours making this, but it's yours for only $9.95. It's the culmination of all our experience analyzing tokenomics for various crypto projects. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just watch my Caspa tokenomics analysis stream that I did a few weeks ago. Basically, you can use this rubric to calculate a comprehensive score for the tokenomics of any coin or token out there. And then you can use that score to compare projects and see which one is more quality. So link below, go get that ASAP if you're interested. All right, back to the cons or the case against privacy coins. And my first point is that privacy coins are unfortunately associated with crime and illicit activity. We've already talked about how crypto is banned in a lot of places, but even in countries where crypto is not banned, well, their governments are still wary of privacy coins. In Japan, a country where crypto is immensely popular, privacy coins have been illegal since 2018. That means that coins like Monero, Zcash, or Dash aren't even available on Japanese exchanges. Even Dubai, arguably the crypto capital of the world, decided to ban privacy coins in 2023. So all this regulatory pressure has led to a bunch of exchange delisting even in jurisdictions where they aren't necessarily illegal. For example, Huobi delisted seven privacy coins, including Decred, Firo, and Horizon. And just last year, Binance delisted Secret Network's governance token, even though it isn't even really a privacy coin per se. So with such an aura of criminality surrounding these coins, it's really hard to imagine that the mainstream public will ever embrace this sector. But here's the thing, it's not just this narrative that's holding this sector back. Privacy coins also struggle from a lack of integration with the broader crypto world. If you look at the most popular privacy coins out there, you'll see that they are quite isolated. They don't have reliable bridges, nor can you use them with most dApps out there. On the other hand, think about ETH and how it's an essential building block in DeFi. You can wrap it, bridge it, stake it, collateralize it, you name it. But coins like Dash and Zcash can't do most of that. So their lack of utility really hampers their potential for growth. One great example of this is Oasis, an alternative layer one blockchain. It has an EVM compatible privacy layer called Sapphire. That's quite cool but very few dApps are actually using it. So perhaps that explains why Oasis's token is still way down from its all-time high and its TVL continues to drop as well. Clearly, this lack of integration is hurting privacy projects, but to be honest, I don't see it improving anytime soon. And that's because of my third con, the fact that this sector is just not optimized for mass adoption. It's kind of hard to ignore the fact that most people just don't care about privacy. For proof, look no further than the users of mainstream social media apps. Most people didn't change a thing after learning that Facebook sold all their private user data to Cambridge Analytica. I mean, everyone just kept using those apps out of convenience. So can we honestly expect a privacy tool to achieve mass adoption if it takes users extra time or hassle to learn? I sincerely doubt it. And here's another example for you. One of the most successful privacy products ever is WhatsApp's encrypted end-to-end -end messaging. But their upgrade to fully encrypted messaging happened so seamlessly that most people didn't even notice. And that's why it was so popular. On the other hand, privacy coins are still so cumbersome to use compared to something like WhatsApp. And that's why it doesn't look like mass adoption is coming anytime time soon for the sector. Now, even if they are able to get over that hump somehow, there's another fundamental problem for privacy coins, and that's all the competition from general privacy tools. There's a growing selection of crypto privacy solutions, many of which don't require a token to use. And I think there's a real possibility that these newer privacy tools could replace most of the OG privacy coins out there. I mentioned earlier that Polygon has its Nightfall product, but then there's Railgun and Aztec Network as well. They all shield transactions and allow for a fully anonymous DeFi experience. And also those tools are natively integrated with popular blockchains. So it just seems like it'd be a lot easier to use those than to swap into some privacy coin on a totally different chain. Now, in addition to those privacy solutions, there's also a bunch of mixers that one can use like Cyclone or Mixero. So my point is with all this competition out there, privacy coins could really become redundant and that, of course, would be an existential threat against the sector. Phew! Well, there you have it, my pros and cons of privacy coins. But now it's time to rank this sector against all others. So far, we have this list. But unfortunately, I gotta put privacy coins all the way down here. 
I mean, I do like the mission of privacy coins, but unfortunately with all the regulatory hurdles and exchange delistings, I just think that access to these coins are way too restricted for the sector to ever thrive. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my take though. And next up, I'm analyzing the AI crypto sector. So be sure to subscribe to catch that one. Otherwise watch our layer two video right here if you haven't already.